Oh, hello, I'm Rob Beharry. I'm one of the librarians at Gumbert Library, and this is a brief uh, presentation on how to resize a PowerPoint slide for a poster presentation. Please note that I am using a newer version of Microsoft Windows and Office 2019 is installed on my PC. So uh, for this particular presentation, uh, it may differ from those of you who are using a Mac or the online version of Word. Um, the differences will be slight and the concepts will all still apply, however. So here's what we'll cover first, um, understanding why you would want to um, uh, use this method over other alternatives when you're creating a poster for a, a poster session, uh, where to locate the features in PowerPoint where you can resize your slide, and how to zoom in on the slide to add content. Uh, if you have been to a conference or seen other posters, you may have seen that uh, sometimes presenters will simply print out several individual slides and um, pin those sheets of paper to the conference display board. And this, of course, is perfectly fine, uh, but uh, you may have also noticed others with professionally printed posters on a single sheet, um, especially in cases where there are awards for posters or when poster sessions are otherwise being adjudicated, you want to be sure to present your poster as professionally as possible. Resizing your slides will put them in a format that will be easy for a professional print shop or even places like Office Max or Walmart um, to use their facilities. Um, and then you can um, print that as a single sheet and use that to present your uh, research as a single sheet. So how do you go about doing this? Well, in, in PowerPoint, you can go to the design menu, which is a tab at the top of the screen. And then from the ribbon, select slide size. Uh, there's a, a drop down menu that will appear. You may also have to click, there's a little arrow next to the word slide side, uh, slide size, and you can select custom slide size. So when you do that, the custom slide size dialog box will appear. Uh, for a small poster, you can resize your slides to 24 by 36 inches. Uh, a better option may be 36 inches by 48 inches. Um, uh, like for a poster session that's being held in a, in a larger room, for instance. Sometimes you want your poster to be even larger. And according to the venue um, you'll be presenting, that will determine um, how large you want your poster to be. I recommend using landscape mode in all cases, which um, usually works best on the poster display boards that I've seen at conferences. Uh, but be sure to check with the venue to see if there's a recommended size or if there's a certain size you shouldn't exceed because the display boards may not be able to accommodate um, extremely large posters. At the bottom right corner from within um, PowerPoint, you'll see a zoom slider. So when you're working with your poster, you want to um, uh, use this zoom slider to add your content. Um, I, I zoom in as far as possible, so 400% is the maximum. Keep in mind that a typical PowerPoint slide um, is about like what, eight and a half by 12 inches a sheet of paper. So if you're zooming in to add content, um, th think about like four times that, um, so 400% isn't um, unreasonable for a um, uh, you know 36 by 48 inch um, sheet of paper. Um, so you can add your content as you zoom in. That'll give you a sense of that uh, slide, con how that slide content will look, and then you could zoom back out to, to see how your um, layout of your th those pieces that you've added. Um, looks uh, on the overall slide. It'll be small, but you, you, you'll be able to tell. So um, that's all there is to it with resizing the, uh, the poster. And uh, with this information, you should be able to make a poster suitable for printing. Um, best wishes is um, uh, you create your poster.